Oh to be a bachelor. Pluto now forever sighs. Dot in my marriage miseries, I perceive, without a wife hell was not a hell before. Dot oh to be a bachelor since my proserpine is mine, daily for my grave I pine. When she raileth I can hear barking Cerberus no more. Dot my poor heart needs rest and ease. In the realm of shades I cry, no lost soul is sad as I Sisyphus I envy now, and the fair Danaids. Two in the realm of shades, on a throne of gold, by the side of her royal spouse, behold fair Proserpine, with gloomy mien, while deep sighs upheave her bosom. The roses, the passionate song I miss of the nightingale, yea, and the sun's warm kiss, midst the lemur's dread, and the ghostly dead. Now with as my life's young blossom. I am fast in the yoke of marriage bound to this cursed rat hole underground through my window at night, peers each ghostly sprite, and the styx murmurs lower and lower. Today I have Karen invited to dinner. He is bald, and his limbs they grow thinner and thinner, and the judges, beside, of the dead, dismal eyed, in such company I shall grow sour. 3. Whilst their grievance each is venting in the underworld below, seers, on the earth lamenting, wrathful wanders to and fro with no hood in sloven fashion, neither mantle or her gown, she declaims that lamentation unto all of us well known, is the blessed springtide here. Has the earth again grown young green the sunny hills appear, and the icy band is sprung. Mirrored from the clear blue river Zeus, unclouded, laugheth out, Soft as Zephyr's wings now quiver, buds upon the fresh twigs sprout. Dot in the hedge a new refrain, call the oreads from the shore, all thy flowers come again, but thy daughter comes no more. Dot ah, how many weary days ye have sought o'er wide earth's space titan, all thy sunny race ye have sent on her dear trace, yet not one renews assurance of the darling face I wot, day, that finds all things, the durance of my lost one. Findeth not. Dot hast thou ravished, Zeus, my daughter, or love smitten by her charms? Hath, or Orcus's night black water, Pluto snatched her in his arms? Who towards that gloomy strand, herald of my grief, will be ever floats the bark from a land, bearing phantoms ceaselessly. Dot closed those shadowy fields are ever run to any blessed sight since the Styx hath been a river. It hath borne no living white. Dot there are thousand stairs descending, but not one leads upward there. To her tears no token lending. At the anxious mother's prayer. For oh, my mother in law, Sears, cease thy cries. No longer mourn I will grant thee. What so dear is, I myself so much have borne, take thou comfort. We will fairly thy child's ownership divide and for six moons shall she yearly in the upper world abide help thee through long summer hours in thy husbandry affairs, binding up for thee the flowers, while a new straw hat she wears. She will dream when twilight pleasant colours all the sky with rose, when by brooks some clownish peasant sweetly on his sheep's pipe blows not a harvest dance without her, she will frisk with Jack and Bess, midst the geese and calves about her she will prove a lioness hail, sweet rest. I breathe free, single, here in Orcus far from strife, punch with Lethe I will mingle, and forget I have a wife. V. At times thy glance appeareth to importune, as though thou didst some secret longing prove alas, too well I know it, thy misfortune a life frustrated, a frustrated love how sad thine eyes are. Yet have I no power to give thee back thy youth with pleasure rife, incurably thy heart must ache each hour for love frustrated and frustrated life.